Hi guys, now we're going to go through the extrude tool in Maya. This is just the basic version. So it's very simple to extrude in Maya. We're just going to select some faces. I'm just using the hotkey here so we can extrude up, extrude down, or we can extrude inwards. Uh, and uh, that's sort of like the different methods of extruding in Maya. Now we can also extrude some edges here, like that. Or we can even extrude, and this sometimes gives a bit of a surprising result, but we can even extrude vertices. So that's all the different types of extruding in Maya. I'm just going to undo all this. Uh, extrude is found under the Edit Mesh menu. Make sure you're in Polygons. It's the second one down. It's very easy to find. Just going to have a look at some of these advanced options. I really never use any of these advanced options, so we're just going to go Edit Reset. Uh, you can access all this stuff later after you've created. Just keep in mind that we can uh, create extrude along curve if you really need to do that for very specialized tasks. So since this is just the basic version, what we'll do is select here. Now we're going to extrude up and I'm just going to show you one little tip and that is basically that you can hold down the control key and because there's no scale manipulator in the middle by default, uh, you can just control click on this top Z icon. Now if we scale that by default nothing sort of happens because that's adjusting the Z scale of these polygons but if we control click on that it goes in and out and that's a really handy quick way of modeling. You'll, you'll be finding yourself sort of doing this sort of stuff quite a lot so I highly recommend I highly recommend learning that control click on the blue icon. The other thing to remember is that once we've made an extrude which we have here we can just sort of move that around with our normal everyday manipulator tools. So it's not kept in our history of our extrude, but that's just a really simp simple, nice, easy way of extruding and moving stuff around. That's just very simple. The one downside of this though is of undone to this level is that if you make an extrude uh, and sort of forget about that, that it even existed without moving those polygons, what we'll notice in here in our mesh is we've kind of got like all these vertices in the same place and you can see them by moving them around and that causes a lot of problems with our mesh especially in things like smoothing uh, as you can see we've got all these extra polygons <laughs> sort of like hanging around and a big newbie mistake is to make extrudes and just forget about that they even exist and that can create big problems in your mesh later on so just really be careful of that uh, number one thing is be very careful of your extrudes uh, so just make sure we're undoing here until that extrude face has gone out of our inputs Another quick tip is that if you ever use lose your uh, extrude manipulator tool and you want to get that back, you can simply go in here to the extrude face, click on that extrude face, and then hit T, and that will bring back your manipulator for that for that tool. So that's really handy. All right. So the last thing we're going to remember here uh, about the extrude tool is in the edit mesh tab here. We're going to break this off, and just up the top here, there's this keep faces together tab. Now. By default, you should always leave that on because it affects a lot of these tools in the Edit Mesh uh, tool menu. But if we switch this off, just so you guys know, uh, you can extrude these guys, move them up. And now when we hit the control scale, as you can see, each polygon itself is extruding together. So that's a cool way of getting spikes into your objects and things like that. But we really don't use it very much at all. And it's it's not very necessary for most of the tools here. So just remember to keep that faces together on and you'll be off and, and running.